Hello everyone, I am going to show you how to print your own chicken tea towel. So you may have already seen our last video which was showing you how to print your own card. So with Easter coming up I've been going with the chicken theme and this is a really great project that you can do at home. It's easy enough to do on your kitchen table or outside in the garden and with what would have been Easter half term coming up it might be a really fun activity to get your children involved with. Or if you're in need of some calming time, you can sit for an afternoon and do some printing. It's very therapeutic um, and a great activity to take your mind off the crazy world that is going on around us. So I've got a few bits of material that I always use. We've got my tray, our sponges, fabric paint. I've got a blank tea towel. Obviously this one's printed, so this is what I'm gonna be showing you how to print. So it's a really nice um, simple tea towel I've got my foam mat underneath me so I'm gonna grab my blank tea towel and show you what you need to do right so I pulled out my fabric paint and for this video I'm just gonna be using duck egg and mustard I think they're the only two colors I'm gonna use just keep it really simple and fresh and then I've got my foam mat underneath me and I've got my chicken block. So the chicken block I'm gonna use for this video is just our large spotty chicken. And I think I might use a little star as well, um, maybe to go in between the gaps, but I'll show you that later. And I've got my little bit of practice fabric. So that's always the most important thing to have a go on first. Make sure you've just got a scrap bit of fabric or paper, just that you can test your prints out to make sure your block is working well. So I've got my dabber. Just gonna lightly tap all over, just so it's going on the top and not in the detail. Turn that upside down. And this is always really good to do, um, especially if you've got a new block as well. It just takes a couple of prints to warm up. The wood needs to absorb a tiny bit of paint and then it will start printing better. So the more you use them, the better they become. So that's printing really nicely. You see there. So I got lovely chickens. So I'm feeling confident with that, so I'm gonna move on to my tea towel. So with our cotton tea towels, this is just um, white cotton, it's just been hemmed on all four sides. And on our tea towels, we've got a little um, hook at the top. So that's where I'm gonna use as the top. And I normally, I'm printing upside down for camera purposes, but I always normally start in the top left-hand corner and then work my way down. But actually, I might turn it around, make it easier for me. So, and it's nice to find a kind of repetitive rhythm. I'm gonna be printing straight lines across this tea towel, but you could absolutely do random. Um, you know, you could just do a border and things. It's totally up to you. Um, it's real personal preference and what you feel will work. Um, but today I'm just gonna be doing straight lines and it's really nice to get into a really nice rhythm and you find you get into a nice continuous pattern, which is really nice. So, same as my practice. Now what you could do, you could kind of roughly work out how many you're gonna get onto the tea towel and go from there. I'm just gonna wing it and hopefully it turns out okay. So that one came out lovely. Let's try another one. And this is a fabric paint I'm using. So it's a textile paint. So when I finished, I'm gonna heat set it with an iron, a dry iron just all over the fabric so it gets really hot and that will set the paint. So if you see there, Two really nice prints. So I am going to print the whole of this tea towel. I'm gonna to speed this part of the video up so you don't fall asleep and I'll show you where I get to.
So I finished printing my chicken tea towel. That took me about 20 minutes to print it all over. So not too long, but not too short that it goes too quickly. So I've got a really nice duck egg tea towel. And it just looks really nice with the chicken. So you could happily leave it like this, but with mine, I am just going to add a couple of stars in and brighten it up a little bit. <laughs> And there we have it. I have just randomly placed a few little mustard stars in. I use mustard fabric paint just to brighten it up a bit. Um, I just did them randomly all over just to fill up a few of the gaps and I'm really happy with it. So next what I do, I would wait for this to be completely dry. So leave it an hour and then you just need to heat set it. So you iron all over the top with a dry iron and that will set the paint to make it totally washable. Hope you've enjoyed watching and try some block printing yourself.